What is going on, my fine people? Fine line 1721, checking back in. Giving you guys another quick video. It's a little bit different than what I normally would do. Showing the unreleased kicks and, you know, things to check for, what to check for, everything of that nature. Here, it's just kind of like pretty much a discussion vid. Along with kind of like a review vid about just why these limited sneakers, these hyped up sneakers, technically, aesthetically look good, but from the materials used and everything like that, shit is trash. The only reason why I'm bringing out the Jumpman box is because I was going through some of my shoes, you know, pretty much about time for me to start downsizing my collection. When I got to this box, because I honestly didn't even recognize it because the box was in my collection with the, not the label side showing to me. So I was like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, oh shit, you know? And I flipped it around and I seen, damn, this the, the Jordan 1, the off-white joint. All right, cool. So I went to go and just, you know, flip the box open and kind of feel like, you know, all right, let me check it out. See if I still want to keep it or not just to get that. If I, Do I want it? Do I don't want it type of feel? And honestly, I don't fucking want it no more because the material that they put on this shoe is fucked up. Um, Virgil decided to go with foam. And I guess in my Jordan room, like my Jordan closet, I have a vent in there and my son, he was playing in the room. I guess he wants to open up the vent and then it's cold in the house. So, you know, you got to keep the heat on. And I think the heat actually baked the motherfucking shoe. As you can see, man, this is actually, this is a real retail Jordan 1 off-white. Flipping it open, you got your paper, got your three laces. I think the receipt is still actually even in here. It uh, came from the Foot Action Jordan store and uh, on State Street, Chicago. So you know this, this is a retail pair, you know. And what happened to this joint, I'm definitely, like, highly, highly, highly pissed at what happened to the shoe. Now, I do understand that, you know, Virgil, he wanted to go for a vintage look anyway. So, when I showed this shoe off on my, uh, when I was on Instagram live, and I showed this shoe and people was like, oh, shit. Well, you know, I don't really think nothing wrong with it or it looked better that way. I think that was the way that it was intended, you know, already having like the dull kind of bottom, like not being bright white. It's like, you know, vintage kind of colors to give it like the shoe already kind of looks old or whatever. But for me personally, this shit is just kind of like unacceptable, man. For, for this fucking, because this material here, I don't know if anybody ever had uh, off-white in their hand. It's pretty much kind of like half-baked shoes. Uh, as you can see, like this is it's foam. It's not leather. It's not suede. It's just pretty much foam that's like not closed. And pretty much, see, the thing is, this padding and this foam, by being exposed air can get to it a lot quicker than if it wasn't uh if it was closed you get what i'm saying like all of this material this here i i, I want to try to get it as as good as possible as you can see this whole piece of foam that's inside of there is just yellow you see the white part and then this yellow Flipping it around to the lateral side. 
as you can see, is yellow here, yellow here, and then even the, the tongue is already, you see that shit? It went from, by this being exposed, this is it's damn near like this how it's supposed to be. If I could show you, like pulling it out a little bit, just that kind of like bright white, but the whole damn phone tongue turned yellow. Look at this shit. Like this is how it comes. And now it looks like that. Even all the way down through the tongue, turn yellow. People was on my Instagram live saying like, man, you know where the shoe, it, that's what it was supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to look. But for me, I shouldn't have went back to my, my shoes months later and these motherfuckers are already just yellow like this. Like that shit is just fucking unacceptable. That shit, man. That hurt my motherfucking feelings, man, when I took this damn shoe out of there. And I'm like, how? Like, but it's because the way that he designed this shoe, aesthetically, it was supposed to be undone. It was supposed to be exposed. It was supposed to have that old vintage look. But, no, that shit just looked ugly. Like somebody pissed on my motherfucking shoe. And that shit happened on, on both of these motherfuckers. Look at that. Like, you could really see it from sitting at that angle. Whole damn shit just looked like somebody pissed on the side of my motherfucking shoe. Look, sitting in the box, you can even see it as soon as you flip the paper open. Whole toe box, just yellow as hell. Did it to both shoes inside the box. That shit is crazy. You can see just how yellow they look. Like, to have a shoe that dope, man, and that weird but hot-looking style and shit with the oversized Nike sign and everything like that, aesthetically, that shoe dope. But now, with the with the way that he designed it and, I mean, the materials that he wanted to use, pretty much it's the same materials that's used on mostly all shoes. With how they're padded and shit. But to expose it to air. And then like I say. Just heat from my vent. Pretty much like. Accelerated the process. It accelerated the yellow process. So it's like. I don't know if eventually. Every off-white was intended. To look this way. With the old yellow vintage look. But my shit. That shit happened too goddamn fast for me. You understand what I'm saying? My shit shouldn't have yellowed that goddamn fast. If that's the look he intended to go for, it should have lasted a lot longer than it did just from the release date until now. Like, what is... Right, in November. So, we talking about pretty much, what, four months? Yellow is not supposed to happen in four months. That's, that's fucking ridiculous, man. That as this is the first kind of like just limited ass hyped up sneaker to me that just had like design flaws, man. Like, is it hot? Is it is this shoe hot? Yes. But the design flaws, just having that goddamn foam exposed like that, and just pretty much air, heat, cold, I mean heat or cold air or whatever, accelerating that process like that, that is fucking ridiculous, man. Now the second joint that I wanted to kind of get into. Like I say, is this new thing over here. We got the Air Force One Mid Supreme. They recently just dropped these on the Nike uh, on Supreme website. And then they dropped it on the Sneakers app. And then they had it at Nike Town Chicago. They actually dropped them like in the middle of the afternoon or like kind of like late evening. And getting into these joints now... This is the issue that I have with this shoe. The biggest issue that I have with this shoe is this. This shoe is $165. $165. 
for a hundred dollar shoe. When this design was at its peak, at its most popular, these fucking Air Force Ones cost what? $80, $85 for the mid tops back when this shoe was really popular, I believe. Like 80 bucks, I believe, is that the mid top was. Because I think the low top was like 75 bucks at the time that this whole, you know, design was as popular as it is now with the, um, you know, the team logos all over the shoe and shit like that. The reason why this shoe ain't shit is because it costs $165 for a $100 shoe. Look at this. This is a regular ass mid top Air Force One. It's no leather. It's, this this leather is that regular ass cheap leather that they put on Air Force Ones. It's no rolled over leather to keep your shit crispy. Uh, the stitching. It's just this is a regular ass fucking shoe. Like this shit really supreme just because it got supreme. Y'all charged $165 for this shoe, and I bought it with my dumb ass. Like, thinking that this joint was, you know, plush leather type shit. Like, no, this is a regular fucking shoe. Regular ass mid-top. I don't even own regular mid-tops. I don't even own regular Air Force Ones. Every fucking Air Force One that I ever bought in my life, like... I don't even, I ain't even buy all white ones when they was at they they height of popularity because of how cheap they fucking was. Like if the Air Force One didn't come premium, I wasn't fucking around with it at all. I think yeah, I I I just couldn't do it because this shoe, the notorious crease of Air Force Ones, is bound to happen quick as hell just because it's a regular ass air force one it ain't no air bubble on this motherfucker it ain't no good leather on this motherfucker no softness no plushness no nothing it's a hundred dollar ass shoe that y'all put the nba logos on and with the nba logos you still could have kept this shoe at a hundred dollars maybe price it at 110 or whatever the case may be just to give it you know because it's supreme and at $110, I wouldn't even be fucking tripping. But for $165 for a regular ass $100 motherfucking shoe, Supreme, Nike, y'all can kiss my motherfucking ass. Like, I definitely will be selling these motherfuckers just because I didn't know that it was the cheap shit. Like, when I seen the shoes and everything like that, I at least thought when I got the shoe in hand, it was going to have some type of premium premium you know, vibe to it, at least, like, this shit is just all cheap, like, damn, y'all could have gave us, like, a, over a 3M reflective Nike sign or some shit, like, I don't know, something, but just for a fucking $165 for a $100 fucking shoe, Supreme Nike, cut it out, cut it the fuck out, that shit is trash, and we running out of space, on my motherfucking love, you know, set up here. But we gonna try to make this shit work. Because we got one more motherfucking limited ass shoe to talk about. Where they dope. They hot. But these price tags on these motherfucking shoes. Stop it, man. Stop it. Here we got the Ricardo Tishy Tishy. Whatever the fuck. So this is the thing. Even Nike knew that these joints wouldn't even worth that. Because I remember the first Ricardo Tishi uh collab that came out with the like the star on the side was I think they was like $275. Now look at these. They dropped it to $20. So they, they took a few dollars off because they knew that these shoes don't be worth the the price tag but here let's go ahead and open these joints up and pull these out they did at least give you better leather than this bullshit back here 
Is this still worth $220? No. But at the same time, if we just sit these on top of each other, you can clearly see. You can clearly see that the material on the Ricardo Tishi is a lot better because you can see like it has the, you know, like this, that type of leather that it get the, the, you know, the scratches and everything like that. So it's a better grain of leather than this here, which is just pretty much a fucking hundred dollar Air Force One mid top black, all black. So, and as you can even see in the back, you know, you got plushness, you got a little distressed leather to it. You know what I'm saying? Leather in the inside, leather all the way through this motherfucker. Is this shoe worth $220? No, I would say that this shoe at $150, cool price point. Like this, put it pretty much put it like this. This shoe is overpriced, but it should have been priced at least what a Supreme Air Force One is. $150, $160, $165 price point. That's cool for this joint. Because you're getting at least like the leather inside. Think about it. The low top Air Force One uh, Rockefeller had leather like this. Soft premium leather and it was priced at $150. So this is just a hot top shoe. Cool. Price it at $165, $170, whatever. And this joint would have been perfect. You know, it would have held some resale value. It would have did numbers on the resale market, I mean, because this is a dope shoe as well. But for $220, that shit is overpriced. Should have just been priced at the same price that the Supremes is and this shit would have been a dope ass shoe. I wouldn't have no complaints about it. But that Supreme that shit trash, pure trash, especially for the fucking price. They could have kept that shit. But these Ricardo T-Sheets, you should have just priced it at 160 165 And these motherfuckers would have been like pretty much doper than what they really are. Like I know these are not like the most limited, hyped up joints, but well, the off-white is. And the Supreme is. This one had a little bit of, you know, hype to it, but it was kind of limited. But I just wanted to pretty much just break down, like, God damn, this shit is trash because the shit shouldn't have fucking yellowed that goddamn fast. As you can see just from that point of view, that shit looks fucking horrible. My shit shouldn't have my shit shouldn't have yellowed that goddamn fast. So you trash for that. This shit right here should not have been $165 because that's a regular ass $100 mid-top shoe. So you trash for that. This joint right here is pretty much $70 overpriced. So you trash for that. Is that off-white dope? Hell the fuck yeah. But it's just some bullshit that you fucking accelerated that fucking fast in yellow one. This right here, dope concept. I remember it when I was a kid. That's why I fucking wanted it. But you, this shit just overhyped trash, period. Point blank, period. If you got these motherfuckers and you keep these motherfuckers, you just a supreme fucking hype beast. Or you really just trying to resell it. And them joints ain't worth the resale value at fucking all. That little last word right there don't mean shit to the point where you overcharge for these motherfuckers in the first place. And then you still trying to get at least a hundred dollars more than what you paid for retail. Fuck them. Now these joints right here, dope concept, dope collab, $70 overpriced. And that's the reason why I have to just throw this one in there for these shoes, the quality that they put on these shoes doesn't validate the price tag that they put on these shoes so that's your boy fine line 1721 with a quick rant please be sure to follow me on instagram follow me on twitter both handles are the same fine line 1721 and until the next video you guys know what to do be smooth enjoy life bless up